So I'm sure you spent some time on Amazon browsing through their SSDs and USB section and you've come across stuff like this. And this says it's a one terabyte, these say they're a terabyte and then another terabyte. You know, on the surface, if you're not computer savvy or you don't deal with these kind of things, you wouldn't know that these are actually fake. I know, shocking that these are fake. I mean, anyone who works in this field, doesn't even work in this field, who works in IT or, or seen these things around, knows they're fake. Um, we're gonna go over to my computer in a minute. I'm gonna show you which ones I bought of Amazon, but these are obviously fake and I knew they're fake buying them, but I wanted to see what these actually are. I'm gonna assume this one has some USB thumb drives inside. This one might have a, a thumb drive inside as well, probably a USB 2. And this one, and they all come with modified firmware that actually fool you and show you the size that is not true. So they usually show up a terabyte when they're actually a lot less. Uh, but before I go any further, you know what to do, share, like, if you're new here, subscribe. Uh, I have a lot of videos on these kind of subjects and forensics and data recovery. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's go with the computer and see the, uh, the, the Amazon page where I bought these from. And then we're gonna take them open. And also, we're also gonna look inside on the firmware. Well, we're gonna use some tools that will allow us to actually look at the firmware uh, and see what these things really are. So here we are on uh, my computer here. So we can see that uh, when I bought these and what they are. So you can see the first one here is the portable one terabyte, the two terabyte external hard drive, USB 3.1, Type-C, blah, 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 blah. I actually bought one previously that was blue um, for testing. Then there's the USB thumb drive that I bought and another SSD. Um, so here are the actual pages of these items. Um, this one here is $40. Actually, they had them initially for 70 bucks and they had a lot more stars. So it looks like the seller just reposts them um, with different names, with different prices. Um, now this one, um, when I click on this uh, one terabyte uh, USB thumb drive, it takes me to this page now. I guess the other one has been taken down. But again, 228 ratings, let's have a look. Yeah, there's someone here um, doing a test on this with F3 Probe. I actually want to use F3 Probe later um, to show you what uh, how to test these on Linux. Yeah, a lot of people saying they're fake, they're fake, they're fake, they're fake. I mean, what did you expect for $20 for a terabyte? Seriously. And what right mind do you think you're going to buy a, a, a one terabyte USB flash drive for $20? That's a terabyte. Like seriously, I mean, I bought this because I knew what I was buying. I knew this was fake, but anyway. Uh, and here's the other one also, two and a half stars. So I guess Amazon did remove the, the, uh, the fake reviews, but they haven't removed the actual items. People are still buying this. There's actually people who buy this and think they're buying a legit product. The problem is it will show you one terabyte or two terabyte, whatever it is. But the bigger problem is you can start keep copying files to it and it will add those files even if you get past the initial real storage on there and it will keep writing them but each file will have zeros inside it will have no data so i think uh the next step is maybe to uh try and to see what they are um let's grab one of them and test it out one eternity later all right, so uh, I got my chip, chip Genius here open, and we're gonna um, well, we're gonna test this one here first. This is the uh, the one terabyte USB flash drive. We're actually gonna we're gonna go open it later, but let's uh, let's see what it is first. So I plugged it in here. Yeah, there it is. Well, it's actually showing 64 gigabytes. Um, there it is here. So what do we see here? We see it's. Uh, Two terabytes, it's a two terabyte USB, but in reality is actually a SanDisk uh, TLC that's 64 gigabytes. So that's what Chip Genius says, it's a 64 gigabyte SanDisk. Uh, well, I'm not surprised. I'm actually surprised it's a 64 gig because usually these USB drives, uh, they come in and they have about four gigs of storage or, or something around that, around there. So interesting. We're gonna crack that one open later and look inside. Okay, next one is this one right here. This is the uh, one terabyte. Let me get a uh, cable for this. Oh, it's got a purple end, what the hell that means. So let's plug this in here, plug it here. So it mounts as you can see. And what does the chip genius say? So it's FC 1179 controller. 
it doesn't tell you the size on this but i'm guessing um it's going to be something small now you can you can also see it's it's, it's a it's a usb 2.0 so it's not even usb 3 it's a usb 2.0 i mean no surprise there and the fact that it's using fc 1179 controller these are like very crappy controllers so not only no at least they could give you something a bit better in here but obviously they don't and let's check the size here it's a uh, two terabytes once again it's not interesting can't wait to crack this one open and look inside okay so last one let's uh plug this guy in this one this one's got screws on here look at that yeah it's got uh and it's metal it's a metal um case let's plug it in and then see what we have so it mounts it once again let's check the size here two terabytes and chip genius says this one's a sandisk 64 gig no wait it's detecting yeah sandisk 64 gig so it's pretty much identical to this one it's identical to this one um i don't remember was the, i think it's not like fc1179 controller again same controller but sandisk flash interesting well i think the next step is to crack these these things open and uh look inside but i'm actually quite interested to see i know what this one looks inside i'm expecting a usb flash drive right here with a tiny little board uh but this one here um it might be the same who knows we'll see inside definitely a flash flash uh, usb cheap usb flash inside this one's also using usb 2.0 shocking so let's go look inside of these <clears throat> okay so we got them here both of these ssds and uh this flash drive so let's crack the flash drive open first because that's going to be the easiest so i was expecting fc 117 controller you can see it right here and the uh, flash yeah they're really not hiding it I guess there's a reason why they're using FC117 controller. It's probably the easiest one to modify. That's my guess. I'm not... Um, I've never modified... Uh, I've never modified... Firmware, so I, I, I couldn't tell you. But I'm guessing this, this, is the, this is the reason why they're doing this. So we can put this one back together. If I remember how. So the next one is uh, this one here. That's got the screws, so let's uh, see what this one is inside. We're using the wrong screwdriver for this. Okay, we got that out. Let's get the other side out. And you know what, uh, we can probably guess what this is costing them to make. I'll say this is maybe a dollar to make. I mean, they probably get the flash drives really cheap and then... You can't really see much inside, but... Uh, let's crack it open from this end. I see they put a lot of glue in here. You can see it right there. So I wonder if we can push this out or we have to put some heat to it maybe. Yeah, so, I don't know if the camera's going to catch this, but, um, but we want to get this out. We don't want to just leave it here, right? So, let's see if we can push it off from this end. Okay, well, we'll use about 200 degrees and we're going to heat this up just enough so the glue gets softened. We still want to be able to put it, put it back together, right? So I wrestled with this thing for a little bit and unfortunately I can't get into it. There's just so much glue in here that 
uh, for me to get it out, I would actually end up breaking this. So um, we still have the other one to open. So this here's the other one. So because uh, we have the other one to open, you can actually see here under microscope. Um, get a better view of this. So you can see this is the USB Type C header, and it's got a separate board, and it's actually sitting on top of a USB stick. Because if you flip it over, you can see a USB just a normal USB drive inside and it's actually flipped around there it is yeah you can actually see it's flipped around so they, they, they run wires you can see wires right there there are some wires running from the USB into this header so because I need to return this because I'm not gonna pay for this, this is crazy um, I'm gonna put this one back together but we should definitely open um, we should definitely open the other one because the other one would be much simpler because I had that one before. Uh, but they're pretty much all the same inside. There's nothing really different about them. Now I'm only doing this so people don't make mistakes buying these because you can get, go to Wish. You can go to Wish and you can actually find um, these drives. They have like eight terabyte ones. They have a um, bunch of other ones for like 20 30 bucks and they have tons of reviews like i mean tons of reviews people just saying oh yeah it's a great uh, great drive i backed up all my photos to it and man they're gonna be up for a rude awakening when they actually get to go and try to retrieve their data from that from the usb drive because there's gonna be nothing on there it's just i mean the files are gonna show up but uh, you're not gonna see any um they won't open. They're just going to be all blank. So, it's very dishonest by these sellers. I mean, obviously there's some workmanship that went into making these. Someone spent time to, to manufacture the uh, this case and everything, but that's where we stand with these things. Okay, put this one back together. So, here's the last one. We're going to take this one apart and then look inside forget how to open this one. I know there's a way to, I think you gotta pry it right here with a shimmy and then you can um, get to it. So I think the first step is to probably put some heat to the uh, end here just to soften the um, adhesive. So we're just gonna heat up the front here. That's just gonna give us a possibility to get it open and I hope this one I can open because uh, I want to show you the inside of it. Hope this was enough heat. I think last time I used um, an exacto knife. I don't remember exactly. But here we go. Oh, so it looks like they got smart. They actually uh, glued this one in too. The last one I opened, it was just sitting in there loose. Well, I have a video of the other uh, blue one I opened. Uh, I'm gonna put it uh, right here. You can see on this video here that um, how this looked. It was. Um, they didn't use glue last time and this one they use glue unfortunately so i won't be able to get this thing out unless i really destroy it which i don't want to do it i don't, I don't want to destroy this thing okay so we got it out here we go Sorry, I did this off camera because I, uh, I have to see what I'm doing, but here we go. This is what it looks like. This is what it is. Let's have a look in the microscope here. So as you can see how they did this, they have um, a reversed USB flash drive and they ran wires to it right here. So that's what they've done and once again it's the same type of usb flash just just like the one you saw earlier on the the first one that I have all two terabyte well fake two terabyte usb thumb drive or your ssd drive and they put tons of glue this time just so you can't get it out well, we have to figure out how to put it back together now so yeah so that's what's inside you can see they really put a lot of effort into this to fake this these products are designed specifically just to dupe clients there's no other reasons for these so that's what's inside so if you ever buy it don't get upset that they're crap 
So that's it for that video. Um, as I would, I was gonna go deeper on these things, but I don't know if there's point to go any deeper on these. We we know they're fake. The controller is. Uh, they mess with the controller. You can see what happens. Um, I guess I could, I could go and go and uh, see what uh, what the controller is doing, but that's just gonna take a lot of time. It's probably pointless. Uh, you can see they're obviously fake and like I said earlier, these are designed specifically to dupe clients. There's, there's no other reason for these things to exist. There's no other reason. Uh, and they're all, and these particular models are using, like I said, this FC117 controller. Probably easy to modify is the reason why they're using. They're probably also very cheap. Uh, I know when anytime we get these for recovery, they're almost impossible to recover from. They're doable, but they just take a lot of work and um, are just kind of hard. So that's it for this video. Like I said, uh, make sure you like this video, uh, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, I'll probably see you in the next video. I don't know what I'm going to do in the next video, but uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video.